and we're starting in our reclined position. Let the eyes close down. Let all of your muscles start to unwind. And just give yourself this opportunity where you can actually tune in with the body. Take a few moments, maybe for the first time today, to really feel into the breath. To find a little bit of groundedness or presence in your awareness. Maybe that's just noticing the breath traveling in and out through the nose. Maybe that's scanning through the body, noticing if you're holding any tension, maybe in the shoulders, the jaw, the face. Maybe it's noticing a few things around you, certain sounds or smells, sensation of clothing or fabric on the skin. But whatever it is that you're connecting to, just really allowing it to settle you to signal to your brain, your body, your breath, that this is an opportunity for mindfulness, for rest and relaxation, for building energy and prana or our life force throughout the body. And perhaps most importantly, it's an opportunity to allow the mind to rest, to simply follow the breath and follow one movement after another without worrying about any of the distractions coming in from outside or any of the distractions that might be in your mind, the different thoughts, the different concerns that we hold in the body. And really feel the muscles start to Ground down into the earth. And as you're laying there, just start to deepen the breath a little bit now. Sending the breath deep into the belly. And feeling it rise up through the ribs and into the chest. And with each inhale expanding through the front and back body, elongating the spine. And with each exhale, Softening the body, releasing whatever you don't need, letting go of thoughts and distractions. And if you practice the ujjayi breathing or pranayama, you can start to tap into this, just a soft, very subtle constriction of the back of the throat so that you can hear the breath. It becomes more audible 
like waves in the ocean, that kind of sound. Observe the breath, snaking all the way from the base of the spine and belly, all the way up to the crown of the head, the chest. And feel it softening back down. The connection of arms, pelvis, back, head, grounding down into the earth. And we'll just take three more breaths here. Breathing slowly in. And slowly out. Two more breaths, just laying here, feeling the body soft and the breath long and steady. And taking one final breath here, inhale. Exhale. Very slowly moving the fingers and toes, bringing a bit of movement back into the body. And in your own time, you can slowly start to walk the feet in closer to the body and plant the feet down on the mat. And then just take the hands on top of the knees and we're going to circle them in one direction so the feet will come off the mat. Moving the knees around in one direction for a few goes. Massaging the lower spine. And then switching directions, taking them back the other way. Nice big circles with the knees. Warming up the spine. Other direction, couple of circles. Maybe getting a little bigger or smaller, depending on how the back is feeling. And then switching back the other way now. Beautiful. Planting the feet down as wide as the mat. And just windscreen wiping the knees from one side to the other. Gently twisting the spine. Take one more either side before drawing the knees into the chest. And in your own time, you can rock and roll your way up into a seat. And take as many goes as you need to just to roll up along the spine and just find your way into a seat. And we're going to take our knees up to start with, plant the feet in front of us. I'm just trying to keep the knees and the ankles in line. I'm going to take the arms underneath the legs now, behind the knees, and either catching opposite elbow creases or maybe just the wrists underneath the legs. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, sit really tall. And then exhale, soften over the legs, round the spine. Inhale, rolling up, lifting the head last. And exhale, rolling back down over the legs. One more inhale, rippling the spine all the way up through the crown. And exhale, rolling back down. Just holding here for a couple of breaths. Softening the neck and head. Keeping the length in the lower part of the spine. And pressing down through the feet and sit bones. Take one more breath, softening the chest a little more. And then inhale, gently roll back up. We're going to come into a little uh, modified boat pose. So you can take the hands to the back of the hamstrings under the knees. And we're going to lift the feet up. 
like you would in a normal boat pose, but by holding on to the back of the thighs. And by pulling on the thighs, you can start to draw the chest forward a little more through the arms rather than rounding the spine, trying to find balance. You can stay here if you would like. You can start to lengthen the arms out either side, but keep drawing the chest through the arms. One more breath. Beautiful. Taking the feet back down. And we'll take the left leg long. Right foot will sit up close toward the body. And with the left arm, just catching the right knee, right hand behind, and just twisting out to the side. Nice gentle twist to start with, not going too far back or looking over the right shoulder, just going sideways to start. Keep finding the length through the spine. And taking one more breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. And take the right foot to the left inner thigh. And then take the right hand on the outside of the left leg and the left arm behind. Just take a little twist in the opposite direction to the left. For one breath. And then inhale, come back in front of, uh, over that left thigh. And exhale, fold over the left leg. Being gentle in the back of the hamstrings, resting the hands wherever they fall. Keep trying to lengthen the spine. Two more breaths here. Yeah. One more breath. Beautiful, inhale, sitting back up and taking the right hand behind you with the fingers facing away from you, back towards the back of the room. And we'll inhale, roll up and lift the hips, left arm overhead, up onto that right knee. One more breath, inhale, pushing out of the right palm and exhale, lowering the buttocks back down, rolling back to center. And then we're just gonna switch sides. So take the right leg long, step the left foot in and keep the knee lifted to start. Take the right arm, catch that left knee and gently bring the spine out to the left. Not twisting too deeply, but keep finding that length through the spine, up through the crown. Couple more breaths here. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, let that left knee fall out, left foot to the right inner thigh. Take the left hand on the outside of the leg, the right arm behind, and just bring out to the right side. Little counter twist, one breath. And inhale back to center. Sitting tall. Exhale, fold over the right leg. Letting the shoulders soften away from the ears. And the spine really lengthen out of the hips all the way out through the crown. Just taking two more breaths here. One more breath. Inhale, sitting back up. And taking the left hand behind, fingertips facing toward the back of the mat. And we'll roll up on the inhale onto the left knee, lift the hips up. The right foot will go flat and the right arm comes up overhead. Open the chest, drive the hips up, one more breath. Exhale, lowering the buttocks back down. We'll take both legs long now. 
And take a breath in, sitting tall. A little bend in the knees if you want here. And exhale, fold over the legs. Being really gentle in the back of the legs to start with, so definitely feel free to take a nice bend in the knees. One more breath here. Inhale, sitting tall. And exhale, swing the legs around and come onto hands and knees. Planting the hands directly under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. And we'll inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest into cow. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, into cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, and gaze forward. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Then exhale, round the spine. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come into a neutral spine. Toes together, knees nice and wide. And exhale, press buttocks back over heels, wide like a child's pose. Extend the arms nice and long. Drop the forehead down to the mat. Or to a block if you can't reach. Keep extending the arms, keeping the Upper arms active. Breathing really nice and deep into the belly. Noticing where you feel the breath traveling in and out of the body. One more breath here. Inhale, threading the right arm underneath the left and dropping the right ear down to the mat. Pressing down through the back of the right arm. An option if you like to take that left hand to the lower back and wrap the chest open a little more. One more breath here. Bring the left hand down if you had it in the lower back. And inhale, right arm out in front. Exhale, left arm under right, dropping the left ear to the mat. And right arm can stay where it is. Or you can take the right hand to the lower back and pull the right shoulder back and open. One more breath here. Bring that right hand back down if you had it lifted. And then inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, soften the forehead to mat. Inhale, come up to tabletop. And tuck the toes underneath. And exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Just pedal out the heels a little here. Maybe cross one knee over the body and then the other. Taking whatever stretches you need that help open the body. And then starting to find a little bit of stillness in your downward dog. Feeling the length. From the back of the heels all the way up the back of the legs. Pressing the earth away with the palms. And feeling the spine lengthen out through the crown of the head. 
Softening the shoulders away from the ears. One more breath here. Inhale, shifting forward to high plank. Stacking shoulders over wrists. And exhale, drop the knees lower down to the belly. Elbows stay in by the ribs. Inhale, lift the chest, baby cobra. And exhale, push through the palms, tuck the toes, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, walking the feet up toward the hands. And coming into your ragdoll hips. Uh, feet hip distance apart, catch the opposite elbow creases. And let the upper body hang over the legs. Nice bend through the knee so the belly can rest onto the thighs. And you can stay still, sway from side to side, shake on the head. Do whatever feels good in your own body. And keep listening to the body. See what it needs, what it doesn't. Where to push further, where to back off. Take one more breath here, slowly coming back to center and releasing the arms. And then with a bend in the knees, slowly rolling all the way up to standing. One vertebrae at a time. The head arriving last, rolling the shoulders open a couple of times. Inhale, lift the arms overhead. Feel the belly firm. Exhale, folding forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back into a high plank. Take a breath in. And your choice, exhale, chaturanga or drop the knees and lower halfway down. Elbows stay in by the ribs. Inhale, lift the chest through for cobra or up dog. And exhale, back into your downward dog. Three breaths here. At any point, you can switch and drop into child's pose if you'd prefer. Take two more breaths here. One more breath. Inhale, walk or step to the top of the mat. Half lift, elongate spine. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. Gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, fold straight back down. Legs stay nice and firm. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Take a breath in here. Exhale, chaturanga or drop the knees and lower down toward the belly. Your choice. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, back into your downward dog. Feeling the core help you to move. I'm not taking any weight in the lower back. Two more breaths here. Wrapping the inner thighs in and back. One more breath. Remembering to breathe. Inhale, walk or step to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fall back down. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. Exhale, fold straight back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the right foot all the way back on the mat and then drop the right knee down to the mat. Make sure knee and ankle stay in line here and then inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Opening the chest to that left knee. 
Inhale, left arm comes under, both arms up. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back, twisting open again. Inhale, back to center, lift the arms. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, lift the arms again. And exhale, your choice. Same twist again, or bring the hands into the heart and take the prayer twist, walking right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Option if you would like to tuck the back toe under and lift the back leg up. If you want an extra challenge. Really press the palms together to help broaden the collarbone. One more breath here, beautiful work guys. Find your balance. Dropping the back knee down if you've lifted it. And then inhale, come back to center, lift the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands down. Inhale, straighten the left leg and shift the weight back over that right knee. I'm just going to fold forward over that left leg. Be mindful not to sit all the way back onto that right heel, stay lifted up on that right knee. And if you need to grab any kind of blocks or tent the fingertips up here to support you if it's strong on that hamstring, go for it. Keep drawing the left hip back, the left pinky toe back toward you. Really mindful not to round the upper spine. So you've got a little baby back bend in your forward fold. Two more breaths here. One more breath, nice work guys. Inhale, bending back into the left knee. And then exhale, tuck the right toe under and lift the right leg up off the mat. Nice, inhale up to high lunge. Whoop, find balance. And exhale, open into your warrior two. Take the right foot sideways on the mat. Inhale, straighten the left leg. And exhale, take the left toes to the side so that you're facing sideways now. Take a breath in, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. And find the earth, maybe find some blocks or pillows, something to support you if you can't reach the ground. But if you can reach the ground, working toward getting your hands in between the feet. And eventually softening crown of the head toward the earth. If the elbows bend, bending them back behind the wrists like chaturanga arms. Imagine lengthening the spine out. One more breath here. Inhale, half lift, extend the spine out. And exhale, fold back down. Squeeze the inner thighs and inhale all the way up to standing, arms wide. Exhale, point the left toes forward and bend that left knee back to warrior two. Inhale, right arm comes under and overhead, back onto the ball of the right toe, high lunge. Exhale, fold forward over the leg, arms behind. Inhale, high lunge, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, arms behind, arrowhead pose. Engage the belly, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, arms behind. Nice work, inhale, arms up. Exhale, plant the hands down. 
Inhale, step the right foot forward to meet the left. Half lift. Exhale, fall back down. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. Close down the eyes for a moment. Feel the weight distributed between the feet. Check in with the breath, the quality, the speed of the breath. Check in with your heart. Whether the heart is racing for movement. And take one more really deep breath in. And back out. Fluttering the eyes open. And inhale, lift the arms overhead. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step the left foot all the way back on the mat. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Twist toward the bent knee. Inhale, arms back to center and overhead. Exhale, open, left arm forward, right arm back. One more, inhale, arms back to center. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, either same twist as before, or hands to heart and prayer twist to the right. Looking the left elbow outside the right knee. And again, if you would like the option, you can tuck the left toe under and lift the back knee up. Power out of the back leg. You don't have to, you can stay on the knee if you want to. Just keep pressing the palms together. Pressing that right knee back into the left elbow, helping the chest to rotate. One more breath here. Dropping the back knee down if you have it lifted. And then inhale, lift the arms back to center. Exhale, frame the foot. Inhale, straightening the right leg, shifting the weight back. If you need to, wriggling the right leg a little further forward. And then slowly folding over that right leg, only as far as feels comfortable. You wanna stretch the hamstring, but you don't wanna hurt yourself. So if you need to stay up on fingertips, maybe on some blocks or books or something, you can do that. Peeling the right pinky toe back, nudging the right hip back, left hip forward. Little baby back bend in your forward fold. Keep the chest driving through the arms, the spine nice and long. Two more breaths. One more breath here. Inhale, bending back into that right knee. Plant the hands. Exhale, tuck the left toe under and lift the left knee up. Inhale, arms up, high lunge. And exhale, open to warrior two. Left foot side over the mat. Inhale, straighten the right leg. And exhale, right toes turn toward the side, facing sideways on the mat. Take a breath in here, lengthen the spine, switch on the core. And exhale, fold forward over the legs. Find the earth, find some kind of block or prop. And from here, Either with your block or on the hand, take the left hand into the center. Turn the space so you guys can see. And then take the right arm up toward the ceiling, open the chest down. If you want to get a little deeper, you can take that left hand across to the right shin or right ankle. 
but try not to let the left hip collapse down. Keep them square. One more breath here. Inhale, come back to center. And take the right hand down in the center of the mat, underneath the shoulder. Left arm comes up. Notice that that right hip drops down. If you can pull it back, keep it square. And open from the torso. Option to take the right hand to the left ankle or shin. Get a little deeper if you like. One more breath here. Inhale back to center. Take a half lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, rise all the way up. Arms wide. And exhale, right toes point forward, bend the right knee. Inhale, arms overhead, come back to your high lunge on the ball of the back foot. And exhale, fold forward over the right knee, arms behind. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, arms behind. Nice work. Use the belly, inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. Beautiful, inhale, arms back up. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, left foot forward to meet the right, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. Close down the eyes. Find your balance, find your center. Slow the breath down if you can. Press down through all four corners of the feet. And feel the belly firming, supporting your balance. Take one more breath in. And out. And gently opening the eyes back open. We're going to come into our tree pose. So take the weight into the right foot first. And you can take the left foot. If you want to keep the toes on the ground, take the heel to the ankle, you can. If you want to take it to the calf or all the way up to the inner thigh. Completely up to you. Just be careful not to place it on the knee. And then find your balance. Hands either to heart or if you're feeling pretty stable, you can take the arms overhead to a nice tall tree. And it helps if you find a little point of focus, something to keep your concentration or your gaze so that you're not looking around the room, getting distracted. Your drishti. Two more breaths here. Keep lengthening through the crown of the head. If you fall out, just come back in. No judgment, no attachment. One more breath. Inhale, bring the left knee into the chest. And exhale, plant it back down. Other side. Nice one, guys. Right foot either to the ankle, the calf, or up to the inner thigh. Whatever feels comfortable. Not worrying about how you held this pose last week. What other people might look like. Just focus on yourself and find your drishti, your point of focus. Feel the belly switch on, the spine lengthen up through the crown. And all four corners of that left foot gripping down. Pressing right foot into the left thigh. And pressing back with that left thigh, the energy pressing against each other. 
take the arms overhead if you're feeling pretty stable. I think I'm going to stay right here. Two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, right knee to the chest. And exhale, place it down. <laughs> Release the arms, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Take a breath in, shoulders over wrists, nice firm belly. And exhale, chaturanga, or drop the knees to the mat if you would like. Keeping the elbows in. Inhale up to upward dog or cobra. Exhale back to downward facing dog. And take five breaths here, either in your downward dog, in your child's pose. If you really feel like a challenge, you can come onto forearms into a forearm dog. But this is your own practice. So do whatever feels best for you tonight. Three more breaths. Wrapping triceps under biceps up. Two more breaths. Broadening across the shoulder blades. One more breath. Inhale, knees to mat. And exhale, back into a child's pose. Knees together or wide, whatever feels best for you. Soften the forehead down toward the earth. And feel the chest soften. Feel the breath come back to an easy rhythm. Maybe lengthening out the breath a little more. Noticing what kind of thoughts come into your mind when you are still in your practice. When we move, when we balance, when we are concentrating, the mind doesn't have as much room for thoughts to come in. But when we find our stillness, we get distracted with internal judgment, with worries about the past or the future, Distractions from outside of the room. And so if you can, keep coming back to the breath that helps you stay present. Take one more breath here. Inhale, slowly come back onto the hands and knees. Tuck the toes underneath and exhale, press back to downward dog. Take three breaths. Pressing the earth away with the palms. Lengthening out the spine. One more breath here. Inhale, walk or step to the top of the mat. Half lift. Exhale, folding back down. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Bring the toes together, the heels just slightly apart. 
and inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth into chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, hold here, find your seat. Not taking any weight into the lower back and sticking your bum out, try and draw the belly in and the tailbone nice and long. Reaching out of the arms. Two more breaths. Squeeze knees together, heels apart. Sink a little deeper if you can. One more breath. Take an inhale. And exhale, fold all the way down. Find the earth, then straighten the legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the right leg all the way back and drop the knee down to the mat. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, back to center, lift the arms. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Hooking the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. And bringing out from the torso. Lifting the back leg if you would like to. But it's just an option. Pressing down to the left heel. Lifting the belly up and over the left knee, the left thigh rather. One more breath here. Beautiful work. Back knee down if you've lifted it. And inhale, lift the arms back to center. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, step back into a high plank. And exhale, chaturanga, dropping the knees if you need to. Keep the elbows nice and close. Inhale through for up dog or cobra. Press the chest through the arms. Exhale, back into down dog. Two more breaths here. One more breath. Inhale, walk or step to the top of the mat, half lift. Exhale, fall back down. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. Exhale, hands up. Toes together, heels slightly apart. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth into chair. And exhale, fold forward, arms behind, not all the way down. Drinking bird. Inhale, lift back into chair. Squeeze the knees. Exhale, upper body folds, arms behind. You can come onto the toes if you want extra challenge. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, fold, arms behind, toes if you like. Two more, inhale, lift to chair. Squeeze the belly. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, fold, toes if you like. Inhale, back into chair. And exhale, fold all the way down. Straighten the legs out. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the left foot all the way back. Left knee down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Open the chest. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, prayer twist to the right. You can take that open twist again if you like, or hook the left elbow outside the right knee. Extra option to lift the back leg up if you like. Keep wringing out the spine from the torso. And pressing the palms together. One more breath here. Dropping the back knee if you've lifted it. And inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, back into a high plank. And exhale, your choice. Chaturanga, dropping knees if you would like to instead. 
Inhale, lift the chest through the arms, over or up dog. Exhale, back to down dog. Two more breaths here. Lengthen the spine. Last breath. Inhale, knees to mat. And exhale, press back to child's pose. Knees together or wide, yogi's choice. Soften the forehead down. Soften the shoulders and the chest. Slow the breath down. You feel the energy of the body start to ground down, to settle. Take one more breath here. Inhale slowly, sitting back onto the heels. And just rolling out to one side, bringing the legs around in front to your Dandasana. Coming back to our forward fold here, take an inhale, sit nice and tall out of the hips. And then exhale, fold forward over the legs. Again, you can take a little bend if you'd like. Otherwise, just let the hands fall wherever they come to. If you're lucky enough to have some kind of strap, you can take it around the feet to help drive the chest through the arms. And feel the pinky toe back toward you. Three more breaths. Softening on your exhales. Last breath here. Inhale, half lift, extend the spine. Exhale, sitting back all the way up. And if you need to come into the center of your mat, you can do that now before we come all the way down onto our back. So take a breath in, arms long out in front, switch the belly on. Exhale, roll slowly all the way back down onto the back. Walk the feet in. And then draw the knees into the chest. Give them a nice squeeze, maybe rock a little from side to side on the lower spine. And then take the arms out nice and wide into a T shape. Shuffle the buttocks or the hips over to the right and we'll drop the knees over to the left. Nice spinal twist. With the hips stacked directly on top of each other. Letting the collarbone, collarbone and chest open, broaden. The breath come back into the belly. The shoulders and arms soften. Take one more breath here. And inhale, knees back to center. Shuffle the buttocks and the hips to the left and drop the knees over to the right. Wriggling out from the right shoulder blade if it's caught underneath. And 
to letting the spine ring out, the breath get heavy. One more breath here. Inhale back to center. And just catching the outer edges of the feet for your happy baby. Drawing the knees toward the armpits, the feet straight up toward the ceiling. Pulling back with the hands and pushing with the feet. Nice little push-pull movement that helps lengthen the spine all the way down to the mat. Just a couple more breaths here. One more breath. And slowly bring the knees into the chest. Wrap the arms around them. Draw the head toward the knees. Squeeze all the muscles in. And then exhale, release all the way down to the mat. And prepare yourself for your Shavasana. Your final rest. If you need any extra layers of clothing, any props, if you want to take a pillow or something underneath the knees to support the lower back, you can. Just seeing what feels most comfortable allows you to really relax. And then whenever you're ready, let the breath get heavy, let the eyes close down. Feel each and every muscle one by one start to unfurl. All the muscles around the face, the creases of the eyes, the mouth, the brow, softening. And shoulders sinking away from the ears, and back into the earth. Arms relaxing by your side. Not trying to control any part of the body. Just surrendering into whatever feels good. Softening through the belly, feeling it. Gently moving with the breath. Much softer than when we started. Softening through the hips, the thighs, the knees, all the way down through the calves and shin muscles ankles, the arches of the feet, and the toes. And feeling the whole body sinking back into the earth. And the 
mind at ease. Nothing but the breath. And I invite you to stay here as long as you would like. This meeting, this call will end automatically so you can really relax into your Shavasana, take as much time as feels good as you can. And soak up all the benefits of the beautiful practice. I will see you all again soon. Thank you for joining me with sincere love and gratitude. Namaste.